indices. Exam preparation examples part 1. You will find this on page 181 in the Namibia Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success part 1 grade 10 11. Now you will find a summary of the laws and you will find a summary of the definitions. And as I go on in this example, I will just reflect back to the laws or the definitions. Okay, so let's start by looking at a few examples. So let's look at first example one. I just want to keep it like this. All right, let's start. Simplify each of the following. Now, the numbers we just multiply as usual. 5 times 5 is 25. But look, if the bases are the same and it's multiplication, we add the exponents. So we're going to say the bases are the same, so 2 plus 3, and that will be 5. And that's the multiplication law as I showed you there. Okay, if it's one base and you see it's almost like double index with a bracket in between what do we do that's the power law then we multiply the exponent so then 8 times 3 and that is going to be 24 and then the last one if it's a division so what do we do then then we are okay this is number C, sorry, I skipped to D. So this is going to be just normal. A divide 4, that's 2. And what do we do? The division law, if the bases are the same and it's division, then we subtract the exponents. So M minus N. And this is going to be 8 minus 4. Not divide, minus, remember. And that is why it is 4. And then the next one, it's just a combination. Now, one of the golden rules is, and I mention it in the textbook, as soon as you see a number and it's not a prime number, write it in the prime factors. Okay, so if I'm taking, and I'm just going to refresh your memory. So say, for example, I take 64. Let's rather take it there. And then I'm just going to say 2 can go in 32, 2 can go in 16, 2 can go in 8, 2 can go in 4, 2 can go in 2, and 2 can go in 1. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then this is going to be 2 to the power 6, because now it's easy to, to follow that power law. So now I'm just going to say, okay, I take that 6 and I multiply it with negative the third, and I get negative 2. And I take the 3 and I multiply it with negative the third, and I get negative 1. And then... If I want, um, I just want to see if I'm, yes, yes, here, the negative index. If I want to make a negative index to a positive, so if it's in the numerator, I take it to the denominator. And if it's in the denominator, I'll take it to the numerator. So in this case, I'm taking this one up and the, it's changing to a positive. And I'm taking this one down and it's changing into a positive. And then 2 times 2 and that's 4 and that's the final answer. Okay, what do I want you to do? I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now one, all the exercises. Okay, typical exam type exam, um, of examples and it's really, really not that difficult. Okay, so they're all. So I think the best is do number one, stop the video, checked. Do number two, stop the video, check. Do number three, stop the video and check. Just going to make a little bit of space. So let's just go a little bit smaller. Okay, then I'll start. Okay, let's start with number one. Number one A. So if I'm going to say P squared, multiply P to the power of four. And that is going to be the basis. That is the multiplication law. So P and not multiply, but add four plus two and that is going to be 6. Easy. So please don't lose that one mark. It's just going to be one mark. The same here. This is the division law. This is divide. The bases are the same. Doesn't matter if it's on top of each other. But still, write the M and 15 minus 5. And what will that be equal? That will be equal to 10. And then number C. Okay. And that will be my power law. Now I have one base. That's a 3, and that's a 5, and then I write down the base, and 3 times 5, 
and that is going to be 50. Very easy, if easy free marks to get in the examination. Okay, so please just know your laws. Then let's start with, go on to number two. Okay, let's start with number 2a. So if I simplify each of the following, now I prefer, when I rewrite it, I prefer to rather write it on top of each other. I, I think it's just easier to see the division then. Okay, so I prefer to rather write it like this. Okay, then like primary school, 2 can go in 1, 2 can go in 9, so it's 9. Now, remember, what is the division law? I subtract. So where's the big amount? It's on top. So write it on top. 2 minus 1, and that's 1. Where's the big amount? On top. If it's at the bottom, I write it at the bottom, but it's on top. So 6 minus 2, and that's 4. That's over 1, but it's actually just 9xy to the power of 4. And that is my final answer. Let's go to number B. This is going to be x squared y3. This is going to be x to the power of 4 and y to the power of 3. It's, it's basically just going to be, I just want to see that signs. Um, I'm just going to make it bigger. Sorry, I think I missed some of the signs there. Can I just make it bigger? Okay, do you see that's a negative? That's a negative and that's a negative. I hope you saw it. Okay, my was a bit small. Okay, so let's just go. So this one was a negative. And this one is a negative. And this one is a negative. So be careful. Okay, now I can go to normal size again. That I can just have space to write. So, so let's just do this. And this is going to be x. Okay, now remember it's multiplication. So it's negative 2 plus negative 4. And then y, and it's 3 plus negative 3. And then it's x, and that's going to be to the power negative 6. And y, 3 minus 3, that is going to be 0. Okay, but now, can I just show you here? Can I just show you here? Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So basically, I'm doing it long. It's not necessary. You have negative 6 times 1. 1. And now we do this law where we, the negative index. So to get it positive, we take it to the bottom. So it's 1 over x to the power of 6. And that is my final answer. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's just make space. And then we have space for number C. As I said, rather do an extra step. Um, in and make sure that you don't do an unnecessary mistake because that happens a lot in this kind of chapters. Okay, so this is now number 2c. So this is going to be 4, A, B, 5 and 4. Now, if we start, now what I always say, all this basis, they have an index. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to take all, because it, remember, it's the power law. So I'm basically taking all the bases and multiply it with the 4 every time. So I'm going to just have 4, and then it's going to be to the power 1 times 4 is 4, then A, 1 times 4 is 4, and B, 5 times 4 is 20. Okay, so then... It's 4 to the power of 4. You can press it on your calculator. That's 2, 5, 6. And then it's A to the power of 4 and B to the power of 20. And that's your final answer. Okay, let's go to number D. Okay, now again, it's almost like number D there. So it's 3, 4, 3, and then X to the power of 9. And it's 2, a fraction, 2 thirds. Okay. Okay. So let's find the prime factors of 3, 4, 3. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cleaning it. Okay. So if I'm going to say 3, 4, 3, you can try. 2 cannot go, 3 cannot, 5 cannot, but 7 can go. And how many times can 7 go? 49. 
and 7 can go in 7, and 7 can go in 1. So then I'm going to add, uh, sorry, uh, um, let's just get that pen correct. So 7 to the power of 3, x9, and then that is to 2 thirds. And then again that power law. So I multiply, 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 multiply. So I will have 7, then it's 3 times 2 thirds. So the freeze cancels, so it's 7 to the power of 2, and then this is going to be 18, divide 3, and that's 6. And the final answer is going to be 49 x to the power of 6. And that's my final answer. Okay, now let's go to number E. Let's just make space again. Sorry, I'm just getting over. Okay, so let's look at number E. So this is 8 and ooh, 2 over 3. Okay, and 49 to the power negative a half. Okay, so again, prime factors. Now, I know 8, that's an easy one. So it's 2 to the power 3, 2 thirds. 49, also easy, 7 to the power of 2, negative a half. Okay, and now I start multiplying. So 2, the freeze can, so it's 2 to the power 2, multiply 7, and this, the 2's cancel, negative 1. So this is going to be 4, and if I bring this one down, it's going to be 4 over 7, and that's my final answer. Okay, let's look at number F. Okay, number F. So this is going to be 27 x to the power 12 over 64 y to the power of 3, and that is going to be to negative a third. So then it's 3 to the power 3, x to the power of 12. Okay, 64. Now, 64 is actually a very easy one. We did it, so it's 2 to the power of 6. We did it there. Where? There it was. Okay, so, but otherwise, just go 64, and you go 2, and it's 32, and you continue. But that's 2. To, it's good to memorize a few. So 2 to the power 6, y to the power of 3. And that's to the power of negative a third. And now I'm just going to multiply. So it's 3, the 3, so it's negative 1. Then x, it's going to be negative 4. And then 2, remember, I just want to show you, I'm taking all this index indices and I multiply it with that one. So then it's going to be negative 2 because it's negative 6 over 3. So that's going to be negative 2. And y, the threes cancel, and it's negative 1. And now I can start rearranging it. So now I can just move, just move up. If it's negative and you want it positive, move down. So 3, 1. This is negative, you want positive, move up. This is negative, you want positive, move down. Just change the sign. And this one, move up. So if I'm going to rewrite this, this is going to be 4y over 3x to the power of 4. Okay, so that is going to be my final answer. Okay, let's do the last one in this try now. Again, I just want to make space. Okay. Okay, number three. So if I look at number three, oh, sorry, just get my pen. No, still. Okay, there, I, there it is. Number three A. Find the value. So I'm having one over 81, and I have to the power negative three quarters. They like asking this as a fraction, and then you always remember that golden rule, prime factor. So I'm just going to show you again. I know two cannot go, but I'm going to start with number three. So I'm just going to say 81, divide three, and I get 27. 
and divide three and I get nine and I divide three and I get three and I get three and I get one. So this is going to be one over three to the power of four, negative three quarters. And now one to the power anything just stays one. But now just remember it's actually four over one multiply negative three over four. I just show you. Okay, so the fours cancel out. So it's three to the power negative three. And then this moves up. So it's three to the power of three. And three to the power of three means it's three times three times three. And that will be 27. Okay. And I'm glad we come to a fraction because I want to show you the fractional index. Okay. So let's do the last one. And as I said, just make sure you know the laws, the rules. And then this chapter is also not a very difficult chapter. Number B. So if I'm going to say 27, T to the power of 27 and 3. Okay. Now, again, I think in this case, it's better just to work first. I'm not taking it as a fraction. It's actually, yes, maybe I'm doing it. Okay, let me just show you. But 27 is 3 to the power of 3. And then T, 27 over 3. So actually, I am doing it because I'm, I'm showing you this. Can I show you uh, there? This. Because to get it to a fraction, you take the inside... And you divide it with the outside. Inside, divide outside. So you write down the base and you say 3 divide 3. You write down the base and you say 27 divide 3. And then it's 3 to the power 1, t to the power 27 divide 3, and that's 9. And my final answer in this case is going to be 3 and t to the power of 9. So I was using this fractional index law. Okay, and that's how. In the next video, we will continue with indices. I want to just show you, this is just the final. Let me just uh, always show this to you. Especially now, we are heading towards the end of the year. So I think it's very good that if you're not having a hard copy, then go and get for yourself a hard copy. So this is the bookshops. Um, I, I always advise you, I always say, first phone them and find out if they have stock, okay, before you, you uh, take a trip to them. So this is the bookshops, and then I also want, uh, because this time of the year, the schools usually order, so I just want to show you on the NEET catalog, all the books uh, appear on that, on the NEET catalog, so you can see all the books there. And then I want to show you also a final thing. This is more for schools that I'm, I'm showing you also this. I want to show you, and I wrote it here, yes. Schools can also order directly from us, Straight Line Publishing. You can just send us a mail to the following email address if you order bulk orders. And then we can see if we can give you a little bit of discount. So straightpub at gmail.com. You can just drop us then a mail.